I guess we should have a look around in, in the meantime, right? What did I learn? Battle Soul. Sacrifice half of HP to fill the talent. I mean, I'm going to be forced to use this, won't I? Right? So, like, if something, like, you know, I use it or something else, I'm going to have to juice up my own, you know, sacrifice HP to do it, won't I? I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Wow, this is, this is turning into an interesting system. I don't really have much of a choice. All right. Shaker Edge. Sure, why not? There you go. Every single art Shulk has is now maxed out, except for obviously Monado Arts, which is another story. And that'll, that'll happen soon enough anyway, because we're getting so much SP. Now, obviously, once we get to levels 5, 6, 7, and all that, you know, it's going to be like 10,000 a level. So at some point, this is not going to just be a dump everything you can. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to drop off. But for right now, we can pool up some SP because more or less every ability that my party members have is uh, good enough for me, so. Jesus. That's kind of the stuff that turns me off a little bit to playing Xenoblade games. It's like, your your tank dies, it's like, well, now the fight's completely almost over. Because you're the only way for everyone else to dump aggro enough is for them to die as well. So you kind of end up in like this spiral of people just dying over and over and over again. And there's, there's like almost no way for Dunban or anyone else to take aggro back. See, in X, I didn't have this problem. In X, Lynn just never dies. I, I can barely remember her getting downed or dying or anything along those lines. I, I'm pretty sure she really didn't. Oh, this is going to go well, I'm sure. <laughs> it's like right now, preemptively I could use this to sacrifice and then get my HP back with light heal. It's like an El Gigante we're fighting. Well, I was gonna chain attack, what is he gonna do? Hard push. Oh my god. Oh my god. He might still do it after this. I never thought about this. Alright, topple. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Phase him. I guess in a chain attack, I could also use Battle Soul and then heal myself to get back Monado Juice. <laughs> he can't get up. He can't get up at all. <laughs> we fucked him up, man. Oh, look at him. Look at the salt. Look at the salt. He immediately gets to stand up and do another vision attack. Are you serious? Now kill this fucker. Execute his ass. Thank you. You bitch. <laughs> Bonk. I mean, we, we could chain attack, but it's true. Damn, so I could use this twice? Yeah, pretty much. Nothing is stopping me at all from doing that twice. Wait, why? Oh, she's asleep. Fuck. I like how she talks while she's asleep, too. Long. Ah, I was like half a second too late. Could you teach me how to use a rifle sometime? So that's how it is. Given up the sword already. No, no, that's not it at all. Let him have a go, Dunbar. He gained increases tension after successful battle start affinity. So that's why we're gaining it so much. Okay, here we go. We're gonna. We definitely have to get overwhelming. We're gonna HP up at the start. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll get that. I'm also going to turn off the air conditioning because it's, it's, it's kind of cool. 
Uh, what else? Reduces HP. Extends the duration of auras. Yeah, so this will this will be the next thing that we get, right? This is more important, in my opinion, than extending the duration of auras. Restores HP when dealing a critical. Improves physical and ether. Yeah, and then we'll probably go down this. Reduces the effects of spike damage. Greatly increases aggro and no armor. And increases HP as a half. Increases the chance of a double attack. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We even have, we have two earth now. Okay. Uh... Magna cap. That'll be good for Ryan. Just he's, he's that outdated on his equipment. Yeah, we need to go back and upgrade gear and just look look in general. Let me do this though. So there's something over here. Yeah, kelp mushroom. I think those things get involved if there's a fight nearby. Everyone, let's go! Don't hold back! I don't want anyone dying out there! Electric Yeah! I sacrifice. Now ideally you only use that reactionarily, so. I really shouldn't be using it the way I'm using it. I'm only using it like this because we're in a normal fight. So I will use it now, for instance, to gain some amount of talent gain. <laughs> Zero damage. It was a complete support chain attack. That's totally fine, actually. What? How is this not? Oh, dude, I was one step away from a side attack. Are you fucking kidding me? Ow. I like how these guys are just walking into the middle of this combat zone, by the way. So it's impossible to attack because I'm going to hit them by accident. <laughs> Just casually, oh, I'll go wherever I want. If you hit me, that's your problem. But if the enemy hits me, then I'm also going to fight you because reasons. Serene Heart improves accuracy and evasion. Uh, the effect gets greater if he's low on HP. Forest of Gossip. I'm sorry, did it respawn just from me walking this short distance away? Yeah, but it, it's another grind quest. No, I guess it didn't respawn. It's another grind quest, though. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to do some story. Not that this wouldn't be something I would do in my normal time, but, you know, it's kind of like, what's the point? No, it's about to be daytime anyway. All right, at least we got this, this fast travel. No, I'm sorry, did you learn a new art? Yeah, I saw it out the corner of my eye. Tempest Kick. Removes enemy buffs after Gale Slash. You're not making this easy, are you? So, after Gale Slash, he can lower strength, he can inflict break, or he could use Tempest Kick. The problem... Okay, maybe I'll get rid of Electric Gut Buster. This seems to do more damage. This is just available a lot. So even if you were to... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Because he can inflict topple. He's our only party member who can topple. Only It seems like only the tanks can topple. But I don't want to get rid of this, right? I don't want to get rid of Serene Heart. And I, I, I like that he has three auras, right? So he has a nice rotation of all of his auras that he can go through. Uh, I guess maybe, what is it? Maybe if you equip like four of them, he can end up doing that. I like that he could steal aggro, right? That's like almost vital, I would argue, right? Like to be able to take 32% of someone else's aggro and take it into himself. That's almost like essential. So like the topple, this also does a lot of damage. So like if we're looking at it purely from a damage standpoint, 
Uh, obviously, we need Gale Slash. It gives the bleed. Um, and it's also his combo move. Worldly Slash at least will lessen the damage he takes, right? It lowers their defense and it lowers their strength. Like, it's, it's pretty much one of his best moves. This just inflicts break. So I'm guessing that this would be better, right? Because this way he could remove one debuff off of an enemy instead. So I actually will replace Electric Gut Buster. As much as I like the name of it, there's there's not enough room on the, on the roster for it. So I will buff this. And, like, yeah, every... Like, the only thing this is going for is that he could use it every eight seconds. Which is actually more often than Gale Slash is even up. So it's it, like it doesn't do as much damage. It's just available often. But the break combo can only be used once every 14 seconds at best. So I just think that that's not worth it. That That's like me fully talking through my logic behind removing that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong play. Okay. This is the weight of equipment. Okay, this is also fine, I guess. Yeah, let, let's get this. Boost physical and, and ether defense by 5%. What did he get? Coins? Yeah, he got coins. Okay. She doesn't have a square. Not yet. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, she has a square from him. She can't take anything from him. She can't take anything from Shulk. And she can't take anything from Melia. It's just people's affinities are getting better. Okay. Dude, there's so much to this area. This is like one of the biggest areas in the game. So what? Oh, okay. It's like one of the biggest areas in the game so far. Yeah, so I guess I should really just use Light Heal on myself now. Because I could use Battle Soul and then I can immediately draw, uh, recover one. Well, like a good chunk of it. Alright, we're good. Easy. Let's stay alert. Okay, there's no reason to use Battle Soul. I'm so close. See, it would, it would be different if, like, you gained um, Talent Gauge out of battle. Like, it would recover, like, everything else. But because it doesn't, it's not really worth using it like that. Oops, I didn't I, I was not paying attention. That's completely on me. He doesn't have aggro, what? Thank you. It's over. Let's press off. We make a great team. I wonder what these things are even supposed to be, really. <laughs> yeah, I get like 70% HP, 80% after doing that. Yeah, I think I should chain it. Alright, let's just fire everything. Can I break this guy? Yes. I think it's best to just deal damage. I might get rid of the break attack on her. All right, can tease. Come on, we can do it. Looks like it's no problem. How do you like that? How's that? Everyone, let's go. Oh, I thought uh, using a, a, a chain attack refreshed your cooldowns. You should still use it. You, okay, so you should chain first because it, it just lets it gives you an extra set of moves. Okay. That would be a little bit too broken. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's 
keep on going like this, right, guys. At least this is dropping pretty frequently. And after this, we do have to go back to Colony 9. Because they had the books, but I haven't hit up any merchants. To be fair, Colony 6 doesn't have anything... You know, like, that would have been our next big town. But there are no... There's nothing there. It's probably, like, rebuilding is apparently, like, a whole side quest or something. Kyle Hood. We can't lose. Make it a swift Yo. Don't let a single one escape. How much do I get? 30... 30-something 30 percent? Dude, imagine how much I just dropped. <laughs> I like that it actually staggers them, by the way. Break. Topple. She doesn't really have a good follow up for any of that, unfortunately. I guess I could just have her heal me. My rifle's getting hotter. Days. Not bad. Uh, like old time. Daze him again. <laughs> Maybe you take more damage when dazed. That could be it. That, that could be what it really does. Yeah. Could you teach me how to use a rifle sometime? So like it doesn't overwrite the duration of topple. No, no. But uh it'll it'll let them take more damage even. Which makes it really unfortunate that that move takes so long to execute. Because if it didn't, it would be way faster. You could just pump it out real quick. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, technically, couldn't you just use Battle Soul, then, then, then flee to exit combat, and then reuse it again, and then just heal yourself? Like... I guess the only thing is that the AI would run in. I think I in the Spooky. <laughs> Dude, how is this not a side? It's so weird. It's like we're right on like the line. They should kind of give you amnesty if they're standing at the diagonal or whatever. Especially since you can't freely move as you want. All right, you know why? Because the circle around him is a little bit weird. Like right here is considered the back, even though it's a little like it's obviously the side. The circle around him doesn't account. Like it, it's like the circle's more forward than what it should be. That's just whatever. That's fine. I guess we'll fight the, the two on the three on two. We can't lose. I don't want anyone dying out there. Leave this to me. I keep, I'm dude. I'm gonna fall for this forever. It looks so sus, man. Okay, uh, break, topple, big heal. Please. Uh, I'll slash him while he's down. Yeah, whatever. Nice. Him again. <laughs> Why does it feel like I'm slowed? 
am I? Yeah, I am. Okay. Like, literally slowed. It works differently than Final Fantasy. Like, it actually slows your movement. Yeah, I, I remember reading it now. I'm just like, it's, it's kind of weird. All right, there we go. We're done. We have the dust masks for her. Uh, what else is over here? Kelp mushroom. I'm sorry, what is this? Uh, I thought that was like a high level. Okay. I swear I'm not colorblind. Find the Dino's Hook in Frontier Village. Challenge on the Bionis' leg. I mean, should we go back and do this? Like, we're, we would definitely just destroy it. That's why it's like, if you don't do it when it's like level relevant, then like, what's the point? Like, obviously now we would kill the shit out of these enemies. So I guess we, we could just go back to the story, right? Like, yeah, there's kelp mushrooms we could grab, but it, it's like the definition of a collection quest. So I guess what we could do, let's go back to Colony Line. Wonder what happened to the other like seven or so colonies. Completely out of our way. Well. Uh, let's see. Bone upper for intermediate. All right, here we go. Light heal. Higher levels of light heal. Rage. Backslash. Slit edge. All right, how do you use it? Is it automatically used? Like, does it just open the ability for you to level it? Yeah, new arts manuals that allow you to attain new level of arts. Okay. So we can upgrade light heal now. All right. I mean, as you can see, it gets more and more expensive. So, I mean, like, I don't regret leveling up anything, right? Like, I know we're going to have to use Battle Soul. Um, these are just for more damage. Obviously, Backslash is the one you'd want to, to really use. You definitely want to hit the positional for Backslash, right? Like, this is also good because it combos into it. Stream Edge is kind of whatever, though. Like, it, it's, it's all right. It does fill the talent gauge, though, which is pretty good. I mean, should we just buy the rest of the books for Ryan, I guess? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. And then I never have to come back here again. A work of art. Okay. Uh, there's actually more quests here now, which is kind of cool, but not really much of a reason to do it. Let's go to Colony 6, I guess. Can we enter the colony now? Yeah, maybe we can. Okay. okay, so you can change how you're running. I guess you could face a different direction and push up. Okay. Yeah, you can't face... You can't do that. You could you could pick any of the, like, the three front directions. Forward or the diagonals. And you could, like, adjust yourself. Okay, that's fine. Eternity. Alright. Daza in big trouble. If Daza not have that thing, then it's really bad. Friend can listen to Daza. Some hoxes steal Daza's proof of no pun merchant status. If Daza not have proof, Daza cannot trade. Doesn't sound good. Daza don't know what to do. Friends must get back for Daza. Can friends do that for me? How could you let them steal the proof of your merchant status? Daza only look away for a second and they steal it. They want it because it's shiny. 
Friends not help, Daza not know what to do. Friends help Daza. Sure. Let's make sure to give friends really good rewards. Let's just see if there's like a, a teleport into Colony 6. Not gonna lie, it looks way better than some of the other places we've been to. Oh, never mind. They everything inside is a crater. Yes. We want to rebuild Colony Six and restore it to its former glory. To do that, we need to move everyone back from the camp. But where Ghoul Bridge has been taken by a pack of ferocious monsters. Doesn't sound good. The bridge is the only way to move the refugees safely. You eliminate the monsters under Ghoul Bridge. Black smoke hoxes. So it's like a full side a side plot. Okay. At least there's a teleport here. I figured there may there would be like a, a merchant or something. Okay. Stupid Terra or Lugas trod and trampled all over me just because I'm small. They didn't even apologize. Unforgivable. Show them what for. Three Terra or Lugas. There are sharp spikes. Ah, I'll, I'll pass. Nope. <laughs> the less I have to deal with spike stuff, the better, honestly, at this point. Okay, the Nopal, ha uh, Nopal gear would be better. Force cap... Bleed defense, 10%. It's expensive. Fuck that. Bitey Bite allows Riki to learn further levels of this art. All right, so Riki's a party member. Bitey Bite, Happy Happy, Sneaky, Play Dead, Lurgy, Roly Poly, Hero Time, Behave. It's all of his books. Every single one of his books is here. So I don't think we could buy any more books for any of our other party members. So we're going to have to go recruit this Riki, I guess, at some point. Oh, is it this? Yeah, is he home? I guess not. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's like they live in the Deku tree for eternity. It's really weird. I mean, it's nice up here. I don't know how they convince the monsters to stay out, but they do. <laughs> the mysterious sanctuary. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. I hate you. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded yeah, now how are you going to convince her of that? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> how do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? I'm Shulk. Okay, what the hell is... I, I guess we're filling so her in. It's can... really weird. To tell the truth... <laughs> They were the black. Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia... We can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... 
I want. Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I what? would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? Friendship. I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, <laughs> That's then. a great way to recruit oh, people. Yeah. In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. That's why you were about to get murdered. Oh, interesting. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief oh, Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. <laughs> the chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please excuse me. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. All right. I wonder, is he going to be another damage dealer? Because we, we don't really need another damage dealer. Alright, how, how far down is it, exactly? Chief's residence. I'm sorry, what? Am I bugging? You can't... You have to jump off. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, so he's probably going to come out of his house. Oh, I'm the hero! This will be the first time a Nopon is actually like... What's the word I'm looking for? It's a bad one. I guess not a meme? I forget what, what Lin's Nopon's name was. Because they, they became like best friends or whatever. I, for, I forget so much about X, it's not even funny. That is not even that it's bad, I just forget it. Because I played that game like four, maybe five years ago. I'm playing these games in reverse, damn it. May I introduce Herapon Ricky! Yay! Yay, Ricky! Oh, Never mind, it's a me. <laughs> Get off me! Oh, to you! <laughs> Served him like a volleyball. Right in the... Take this! <laughs> That's not good. <sighs> The finest hero they can produce, of course. I'm putting this guy on the bench for eternity. Yeah, um, pull yourself up. Um. I introduce to you <laughs> this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> oh. This is our party member? Okay, well, yeah, never using him. <laughs> New Hum Hum friends, meet this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ricky, live to serve! Uh. Excellent. Never mind. They're all memes. I hate them. A hero pod, you say? Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. 
Sure. Are these Telethia as strong as they sound? Yes. They're quick as lightning and can read your mind. The mind reading giant bird. No problem. I can see them. It's okay. Ricky's stupid. But even he can't have his mind read. Off the red. And we're going red, up against red. the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Eric's sea. If anything happens to our guy, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbad's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Ricky has been informed of the Dino Beast. What you refer to as the Telethia. Be safe, my hum hum friends. I'll try. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's oh, great, we have to foot the bill. Hum -hum Even better. Friends, oh. meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Thanks. Got you for a furry foot rest. Dino Beast is big and scary. <laughs> right. That'll come in handy. Watch, he's is the best me, character in the game. Suddenly become Nopon mercenaries. Oh, we need to change uh, the equipment, the glamour equipment. Collect Riki's weapon from the weapon shop, armor from the armor shop. Oh, well, he's not in the party yet, but I guess while I'm here. Okay, we can make things better. What about for her? She learned Summon Aqua. Water causes HP regeneration, discharge drains enemy HP. For the whole party. Oh, she buffs the whole party. Oh, okay, that's different. What the fuck? There you go. If I move Spear Break over there. Alright, let's level it up then. Alright, so within a range around her, she can regenerate, and when she dis... So she basically summons auras. Okay, that's what... I think that's what these are. These are all auras, or at least, like, active buffs that she summons, and when she discharges them, uh, they deal damage or some extra effect. So, like, she could absorb enemy HP. I'm not really sure how it works. Only available in elemental bird. Okay, so these are, like, turning on her elements... And then this ends it and allows her to siphon whatever. Okay. Never gonna use her. <laughs> Further increases aggro draw by Mad Taunt. Okay, at least they gain SP even when they're on the bench. Yeah, every, everyone gains experience and SP even when they're not in the party. That's... that's perfect thank the lord yeah so that, that's good i don't have to swap people in so that way the game keeps them relevant or anything like that okay okay let's continue i did stop for quite a while actually uh so i guess we just hit up the shops i guess they're going to tell us about maybe a couple of his items or something that we could just equip on him and you got armor that can protect from uh, even protect dino beast attack well, maybe not quite that good. Anyway, do your best. Come back safe and tell stories of Riki's bravery. Uh, okay, this one's, what, further up? Okay, they, they're not letting us teleport, so we'll just walk. And of course, as soon as I start recording, very nice. Um, what do we need, a weapon? I wonder, what kind of weapon do you think a Nopon can even use? Like, something, like, big that they could use with, like, their ear hands or whatever? Riki going to kill Dino Beast. Riki going to need a good weapon. Good luck, Hero Pon Riki. Me supporting you. The Warrior Nasher. You have all of Hero Pon's equipment. <laughs> what the fuck? Ready to go. Come it's like a maraca friends. with a face. Riki's adventure begins. No, yeah, it's not a stick. Riki, you do know where the Telethia is, don't you? 
Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky, no, it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. All right, that'll be easy. So we got two new party members almost Ricky, back to back. Why are you the hero pawn? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you. So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief choose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the hero pawn. Can't argue with that. Uh, I mean, but we could, kind but of we don't care that much. Compact for a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promised to forget my debts. Oh, oh so there you Ricky go. Ricky like being <laughs> hero pawn. We sent him out on a suicide mission, which is why we gave him this awful looking weapon. All right, we have a full party of reserve people. Okay. Ricky. Riki have Talon Arc 2. It is called Yoink. Uh, Riki take nasty monsters, item strength, HP, make them all Rikis. Auto attack make Riki's Talon Gage refill. Uh, Riki super tough, little attacks, no problem. Riki's happy, happy fills the party gauge, making it easier to revive anyone who's become incapacitated. Bitey, bitey, and lurgy, very deadly, cause damage over time. We we'll use that at the very start of the battle. If you use it to finish off an enemy, the slow burn effect. So he's like, is, is he a tank? Maybe. My talent art is elemental discharge. If I summon an elemental, I can use this art without worrying about the talent gauge. Remember, each elemental discharge fills, uh, the re the refills the talent gauge. When my talent gauge reaches its maximum, I automatically enter a burst state and my concentration increases. Elemental discharge does more damage during a burst. My arts are quite special. It's particularly tricky to use my summoning arts, like summon bolt and summon flare. All right. So while an elemental is summoned, it grants buffs, and dismissing it deals damage. So best I support everyone by granting buffs, then fire off an elemental at the end. Yeah. Okay. I I don't like this. <laughs> I don't I don't like this. So you really kind of only have one healer, I guess, to start, right? Wait, do we get another exit? Wait, really? Oh, okay. I'm never gonna give up. I mean, like, things kind of make sense in general for me. Like, with, with Shulk, with Dunban. So, she's like an extra damage dealer, but who would heal then? That's what I don't get. So, I, I just don't even... Oh, okay, that was the front entrance. Okay, I, I haven't really come out this way a lot. That's why. All right, where is it? Uh, over here. Okay. Oops. Unless we'll try to pick up some of these kelp mushrooms while we're on the way. Might as well. Like, I wish there... Okay, you want to know how one way that you could make this system, like, really good? Have it so you could swap party members mid-combat. It's just like, I don't know, man. Like, like the 2010s were just really shitty for JRPGs. Like, there were a lot of JRPGs, but it feels like, I don't know. There's, like, a, a ton of stuff that they could have put in that they just didn't to almost any JRPG of this era. Like, they all were fucked up in some way. Oh. And I could fall down here. <gasps> Wait, wait a minute. What the fuck? Okay. Apparently now we're in Jurassic Park. I don't know. I don't know why it would be so difficult to have a game where, like, your party swaps in when you need them. And, and like, you could have four people, five people out at any time. You know, stuff like that. I, I don't know. So uh, this is a very... This is a very weird genre. Because unlike FPSs, where, like, every FPS kind of plays the same a little bit now, 
like most FPSs or most art JRPGs all play vastly differently with very little in between them besides like basic party and item management. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. So as draining the mean? life force of the forest? Are you telling me that Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. Yeah, we know I that. Know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence or a trust in something? I can trust in the Monado. I could see the future. Yes. It is trust. I can't believe it. I can write this plot. The power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. I see. Alright, well half of you are not going to be used. Not even as a backup party, which is the crazy part. <gasps> Stick together, everyone! Dino Beast! Because Ricky and Magic! It's Lethia. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. So, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right! Melia! You idiot! Yeah, maybe she'll like force it to land. Oh yeah! She's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. And no harm can do that. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shook! Right! Shala! Protect Melia at all costs! On it! Right! Ah! All right, don't worry, she's not even in the party. <laughs> Melia learned Mind Blast. Leon Telethia. So what, we have to wait. Yeah, we have to wait for it to use Aura and then I'll seal it. Behind. Nice. I like when enemies are this big, you can hit them from so far away because their hitbox is so gigantic. There right, we go. Sacrifice HP. I mean, maybe there is a, a party swapper mechanic in this game. Maybe later. Probably not. Okay, that's not the worst thing that could ever happen. Oh, that's bad. Uh, Sharla, um... Give him debuff immunity. There's no way I'm gonna be able to stop it in time. Yeah, I'm one... I was one swipe away from it. Can you believe that? I was one swipe away from it. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no way I can convince her to relocate so she doesn't get hit by that. Here we go. Step on him. Okay, well, I can heal him. Nice soul sacrifice fast enough. Yeah, there we go. 
That's really what you should save up Battle Soul for, I guess. Okay, let's chain attack. I guess we'll use healing round, right? Let's see, can we break it? Yes, okay, so we'll topple it. I'll have her heal us. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Okay, well, he retoppled it. Perfect. Okay, good. That was a complete mistake on my part. All right, well, I already have my shit charged. Oh, okay. <laughs> What is he doing? What? <laughs> You're only gonna piss it off more. What a madman. Oh, don't worry, just what? Dino, he's grown back. Sing. You've got to be kidding me. It's no good. My ether shots are having no effect. It's regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. So we'll seal it instead. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by. Unless another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with What if you just skip the have. remainder of the fight? Thank you. Ready? Yes. Uh -huh. Or maybe not. I was a little too optimistic on that one. <laughs> no, maybe you just skip the rest of the fight. No, it's just phase two. I mean, should we chain attack right at the start? Sure. Let's, let's actually do it. Yeah, that, that makes sense. We'll break him. Topple him. Uh, fuck. Prepper, I guess. Might as well. No, nothing wrong with that. She doesn't really have much offensive pressure. That would be Charlotte's biggest, like, foible, that she has no real offensive pressure to speak of. What? I'm trying to do the... Okay. I think that was considered a front, by the way. That's incredible. Ow. Done, Van? Yeah, it's, it's at the end of the attack. We'll do that much. All right, so we can shield him, which immediately changes the future. To four damage. He gets a free move in. He can take some aggro off of me. I love that it just does one damage. You either make the attacks completely miss, or they just do nothing, essentially. I'll heal him. Okay, we're about to get soul sacrifice or whatever. Maybe I should wait. Let's use it. Okay, chain attack. <laughs> Uh, let's break him again. See if we get a second round. Big heal. Oh, the music stopped. Okay, perfect. We went back to the normal music. Oh no, I was supposed to beat him by now. What is the game expecting from me? Oh my god, he can't even stand up. Look at this poor schmuck. He can't even get up. <laughs> oh, you know he's gonna fuck us up for that one, right? <laughs> Okay, 
right, I'm gonna wait. You know he's gonna do a time attack. Definitely, he has way too much health left. There it is. To do another chain attack. I mean, I guess I might as well, right? So we'll, we'll do the same thing. We'll just topple him, and then we'll heal. And if I get to go again, then I could uh, do the usual. Let's see. No, okay. I've been pretty unlucky. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I think everything's a crit if you're dazed. Or it's just a lot of damage. He doesn't have an aura, does he? No. He doesn't have an aura, right? No. Okay. I don't know why. I'm, I'm spooking myself. Okay, here we go. This is what I was holding for. Ether Cannon. Kill Shot. That was my back <laughs> That was everything but the back. Yeah, I think he just, he auto-blocks from any direction, which makes things a little bit weird. Okay, we're fine, I hope. Okay, here's what I could do. I could do Buster. And give up Half-Life. Cancel this. That's actually really kind of disgusting that you could cancel him, whatever he's doing, right in the middle of him doing it. Alright, heal round. She's got good healing. So maybe at some point you could remove the basic heal move and then just use heal round normally, you know? Maybe. There we can hold it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> just no pawns, just doing nothing as usual. Now, Dumban, points on this. Oh, yeah, right in the brain. Now, Melia. Big to assume that Telepias have one specific brain, but I can imagine. I don't think Alvis is going to be too happy with this. He cares for Telethia, so I mean, this that's, uh, that's not going to go too well. Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. <laughs> Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Hoggard, Garin, Damil Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's 
dead. Did you see? Actually I thank happy you for your for aid once. in my cause. Very nice. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Ah, oh, that's Hello, a lie. beast. Here upon Ricky, ready for round two. Hey, hey. a fight over already? No, oh, Ricky, not no. I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> oh, we literally did. Oh, oh, oh. Ricky, brave. Ryan, also a little brave. Ricky, happy, happy. Good for Riki. So why would they give you three tanks in this game? That's like really weird. All right, everyone's Here happy. Here upon Ricky, be proud. Here upon Ricky, tough guy. Here upon Ricky, bestest. Look at him, barely hit a toe, and he gets all the praise. Oh, let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. So you still in debt? Your frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hereupon slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing He's like, what? peace I want to, do all to that. the lands of Bionis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. Well, it was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying. Chief make a prophecy one minute ago. Oh, Ricky mad. Ricky. Go with these people. And everyone's going to be like, yeah, you have to. Village, you oh, must man, go. That, that's kind of brutal. My instinct is never wrong. <gasps> I have to fight like dimensional, like demons worry, and Vicky. gods. He's like, oh, yeah, Your go on. Your kids will, will be, be taken, taken care of. Care of. <laughs> <laughs> Dad upon stomach rumble. Dad upon need food. Dada can't meet food now! Dada? Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Hey, he's got a family. Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pun, and little pun. We really should just send them you back home. I'm gonna be a family joking. man. Or whatever. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled, just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food! Chief Danga know best! Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life! R Ricky will! Okay, Oka! Ricky happy to join friends! Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. Yeah, we're all gonna die. I got this is played off very cheerfully. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same Hom Hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Hmm. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these Homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These Hom Hom fought valiantly in aid of our village. And a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. Yeah, so maybe there's like a back entrance, or I guess a back exit, rather. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Aerith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Damn, so formal. There's not really much to see, really. 
How many floors up? The sea is at the top level. Okay. The fuck? There we go. I mean, only on the Bionis would this make sense, right? Like, you have to go up, up, up. Somehow there's a sea on the upper level and never spills Melia, down to the lower levels. What will you do now? I would like to repay you for your help. Permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. Of course. We'd love you to. But I must warn you. Aerith Sea is vast. Do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Yeah, the path is linear. Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it. I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island. But I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial Sanction. Imperial Sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entia. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help Yeah, me? they have dominion over uh, the top of the Bionis. is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? He's also Long in the vision, I guess. Homs built the colonies. A group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dunban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I just I've, forgot it. Oh. I've slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? I, I really relate to that. You I've slept so... through a lot of classes and still passed oh, them. Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Not Imperial a ton, capital. but greater than like two we'll or three. see how easy it is to see this emperor. You get really good at sleeping without snoring. I will not break And sleeping it. sitting up. But in a way that Melia, the teacher doesn't really notice. Isn't that the... The shortcut to Aerith Sea. Yes. Alright. Makes you wonder why she even left the party in the first place if she was just going to immediately rejoin it, but whatever. Huh. The Prophecy Hut. Alright, so finally we could start to see people's affinity levels. So this one requires Riki and Melia to have a level 2. I think we finally are at the point where we could start to see most of this, because we have, what, 6 of the 7 party members? And if Fiora comes back, that's 7. So I guess Dixon isn't a party member in this game. I thought he was. Contemplation Terrace. All right, still can't do it. He can send you to Air Sea in, in a flash of light. Sure. What kind of magic is this? Where even is this sea? Like, isn't this like, what, the back wing or something of the Bionis? What is it? Friends, jumping bull! <laughs> All go to Eris! Jump? In that? You're nuts, purple. You have nothing to fear. This will take us to Eris Sea. She just walks on the water. Maybe it's above the Bionis. Maybe it's like a, a cloud sea or something. Look, 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 look. All right, y'all be doing some freaky stuff here.
That can only be something good. Oh, there you go. That's the end of chapter seven. Damn, so you have almost the full party right before chapter eight. Yeah, it was. It's like the wings, I guess. We gotta go down the back leg. There's definitely gotta be something on the left leg, right? It can't just all be the right leg. It's gonna be like a super high level area. Who would have thought Aerith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Yeah, that's a no. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. <laughs> how, how dare you, you clown? It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you're right. So then you'll listen to our story. Yes. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when... All right, big recap. Thank you. Let's just skip right through that. Anyway, five hours later. I see. I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. Yeah, it's basically extinction. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that... You are looking at Prison Island. Huh. So that's Prison Island. Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. I'm sure it'll be sieged at some point. What technology makes this possible? I do not know, and I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial Sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. Okay. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. All right, straightforward enough. We I don't do see why this is called diving. a sea, but now yeah. we're gonna fly. You know why this they they went up through the, the sea? Creep. I guess that's fair. I guess we don't have a choice. Right, onwards to the capital. Still, what is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mechon defense systems. Yeah, why would they have anti mechon defense systems if the mechon don't come up here? I guess it could have just been leftovers, right? They don't necessarily need to have to, you know... A defense system is a defense system. I guess that's good enough reasoning, right? Nothing here where they were killing, so. What level are we? Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, we're not too far. Not too far off. What I should check though. Oh, someone learned a new art. Oh, um, because I gained them. Okay, sneaky. Riki sneaks up from behind, dealing lots of damage. Riki bites out, inflicting bleed from behind extends duration. Riki chews poisonous grass from Machna and spits it out in a cloud. Throws petals for Machna, making any enemy placid. Spits saliva that instantly freezes around an enemy roly-poly. The book may force topple. If it does not topple, it will bind an enemy instead. Ricky does his happy dance, filling the party gauge. 
Restore HP to the party. The more debuffs, the more HP restored. Hero time. Prevents tension from decreasing. Randomly increases a stat at random by, what, 75%? Play dead. Enemies ignore him, allowing a surprise attack. Upon activation, all aggro gets removed. Heals the same as a genuine revival. I have no idea how I would ever use this character. Mind Blast. Release internal strength to seal enemy arts. Removes auras and art seal. Only available in element burst. So basically, her whole job is to, to keep one of these things rolling the whole time, right? So I could see how Melia would be, like, really good. Definitely want to lower that cooldown. Oh, damn. Things are getting expensive. Yeah, probably not going to do Hypnotize. I really doubt that would be, like, great. I guess I'll, I'll increase Light Heal again. Tw every 20... 20-ish eh, seconds, right? Yeah, every 20 seconds on the next level. There's no, nothing I could upgrade with Dunban. Yeah, that's kind of it. There's not really much to upgrade. I guess I'll just keep pooling up AP and just, just fuck it, whatever. Because, like, I could see Melia getting some usage. I don't know. Like, like I feel like it would be better if you could swap party members. And then that way, like, okay, well, we don't need Shulk for a little bit. But, I mean, you kind of need the Monado. You need to be able to use stuff like Purge and, and, and everything else in order to make sure you don't just get, like, one-tapped, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, we would definitely have a skit right now if this was a Tales game. <laughs> Turbulent Belmo. The fuck? Covering Reef 2. Yeah, seriously, who named these monsters? Who's had the wackiest, like, naming scheme ever? Alright, I want to see if I can get to town and then see, like, what weapons and stuff they have that I could buy. Specifically books, because, like, obviously getting books for some of the skills that we actually use would be really important. And another white tail, they both really fluffy. Riki want to use them as pillows. We take them back and sleep. Look how nice and peaceful it is up here. It's always cool when you get to an area of a game that's just like relaxing, you know? Just chill. I don't think they'll be too happy. Who are these guys? <laughs> are those wings on their head? They must be high Entia. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Gee, I wonder if Melia is an Entia. Huh. Lady? Huh? Yeah, that's not just like a nice doily you, on Captain. her head. <laughs> these homes and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea. Melia, are you? That wasn't a very great vision. Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. She just loves leaving the party. Holy shit. She's left more than Kane did. And Kane would leave every five seconds. Lady Melia, he says. 
Shulk. You're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> hey, come on, hurry up. More of these guys. A little bit less like guests, a little bit more forcibly detained, you know what I mean? I must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, well, more walking and thinking. Are we gonna play as her? Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, we haven't done this since Fiora, like, ages ago. Why is it all empty here? Is there, like, a coup going on? You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Great, things are going really well up here. Do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. <laughs> your highness, Enough I... of your drivel. That's great. <laughs> we will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. Your stupidity bars me, you bitch. You really think you're going to kill her when everyone's watching? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're such a goddamn idiot. Alright, here we are in New LA. How big is this place? Oh, it's alright. It's, it's big. It's not big, big. It's, it's big, though. Okay. Melfica Road. Dude, does every one of these games have to have, like, some grand, like, church hall? I guess. Nothing I like more in a JRPG than fuck the church as a plot line. Oh, shit, look at this. Some Someone's rendition of it. Wait, but in this one... The, the Mechonis has pierced the Bionis. I thought it was the other way around. That's spooky. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering, but I thought the Bionis was the one that dealt a really strong blow. Maybe, no, maybe the Mechonis did. Maybe maybe it did. We, we just must have passed whatever Sword Valley would have been. Right? Unless we have to go down the arms, maybe? wonder if the latter half of the game is us exploring the Mechonis. And if there's like any any hom sympathizers over there. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, They've already they been executed. They've been arrested by Imperial yeah. security. 
Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend, passed down through the generations, of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Don't worry, I'm white as snow. This is, come on. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no It's a test of character. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Anyway, I... adjourned. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. We're just getting embroiled in a bunch Brother. of politics. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High End. Yeah, why not him? Me? And not you? Okay. Yes. Yeah. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. Okay. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. All right. I mean, he seems like a decent dude. I am to be crown princess. I wonder who's trying to run the coup then. Yes, you are. The ministries of research and records are united in support of his majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. Having I understand. On the back of your head would be awful, I would never it? openly question our divine emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes. But a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the divine seer were to intervene... The seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Very, very ominous language. Exchanging words and exchanging fists. <laughs> Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Yeah, because she's royalty. Exactly. She's in on this. Hmm. Shilk, any thoughts here? Nope, head empty. Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me.
<laughs> I'm the only one in the party? Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. I'm about to say, like, what? They ditched me. Shulk, you don't have to worry. Bird people, not bad. Yes. The ones who came to me, Melia, were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? Yo. What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick, you're sure we can really trust her, right? Right. We have never had any contact with the Hyentia before. Perhaps they're being cautious just as we would. Yeah, look how much bigger the city is when you're actually here. Yeah, things are not to scale in this. They're, they're not even close. Look how much bigger the city is now that we're actually in it, you know? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Wait, it's him! What? Okay, Alvin. something's wrong here. What are you doing here? <laughs> how, is, how do they have a seer that's not a Entia? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. Yep. You see, I the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. <laughs> he immediately I shall take like, responsibility yeah. for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Please be a good Farewell. guy for once. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you. Nope, that'll come later. Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. All right, well, that's pretty good. Dude, no punk can fly? Okay. The so life weird. of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay, then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your eminence. And he's already gone. <laughs> what God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day. It well, is we know they're probably most dead appreciated. already, or whatever. We need all the help we can get. At least Ricky isn't as bad as the other ones. Alright, go to Hovering Reef 4, where Serath Lighthouse is situated, and ask where the worker is. Okay. Yeah, like, look how big this is. Like, look at this. This is nothing like what we were seeing when we were down there. <laughs> if they made a remake of this game on, like, actual, like, really high-end hardware, could you imagine, like, how big they could make the Bionis? Like, it would actually be to scale. It would be amazing. That would be really fucking crazy. Like, you actually have, like, a full big thing to explore on. It's not just, like, you know, specific levels and stuff like that.
be able to travel up a whole leg. It, it takes like a ton of time or whatever. I mean, but sometimes too big is also not the best thing either, so. There's there's always some middle ground, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes big is nice, sometimes it's, it's too much. You never know, right? Popular staff. Uh, this will be like better for him. Hunting Nibbler. Which is overall an increase for him. Iron Cutlass. Yeah, this is, this is such an improvement for him. I, I do have to get this. Summon Bolt, Hypnotize, Summon Copy. Okay, so Melia's stuff is from here. I wonder where you get Dunban's books. Dunban and uh, Sharla. Maybe you have to repair Colony 6, and then that's that's what lets them um, have better, uh, better equipment. That could also be the case, so I guess I will have to do that. <laughs> 